Update on Formula One legend Michael Schumacher. After a very grim 24 hours, there's finally some positive news to report as he continues to fight for life in France. Our Europe correspondent Daniel Garb is in Grenoble and has the latest. Yes, thank you. There wasn't much at all to smile about yesterday, but after a major media briefing by Michael Schumacher's medical team, we can tell you there has been a slight improvement in his condition following that severe head injury he suffered while skiing in the French Alps on Sunday. Doctors have decided to operate on his brain for a second time. They did that overnight here on Monday, and after scans this morning, they noticed that slight improvement that we speak about. However, despite that encouraging news, they have been quick to warn that he still has a long way to go before he can be deemed out of danger and remains in a critical condition. The CT scan today is better and the uh, situation, the clinical situation, is a bit improved compared to uh, yesterday. But at the time it's, it's uh, too premature to uh, make any uh, speculation about uh, his, uh, his condition. So that is positive news, especially when you consider that doctors said they were surprised to see that improvement in Schumacher. But again, they reiterated that in intensive care, things can change very quickly and he still has a long way to go on the road to recovery. Schumacher's family have been by his bedside here from the moment he was admitted into hospital. And today, his long-term agent admitted they've been affected greatly by these events. Obviously, they are very worried and very shocked. Um, I don't want to go into their mental st uh, state, but um, it is clear that they are um, with Michael and they try to support him and really be backing him. It has been pretty much family only by his bedside, but there was one notable guest today. His former Ferrari boss, Jean Todd, was a welcome visitor. There was a disturbing revelation, however. Police have confirmed to us that uh, a journalist has dressed up as a priest and eluded hospital security in an effort to sneak into Schumacher's room. He was eventually stopped, but an act like that just leaves you shaking your head when you consider these circumstances. Apart from that, it has been an encouraging day, though, for the seven times Formula One world champion and his family. In Grenoble, Daniel Garb, Fox Sports News.